breaking travel news, wandering around, exploring the Arabian travel market, the first in-person event. It's great to hop over now to Saudi Arabia to find out about the Red Sea project. Abdullah, give us an overview of the project. Thank you, Phil, for hosting us and giving us the opportunity to introduce a Red Sea project and Amala project. Today here, uh, we are representing both projects. We wanted to introduce those projects as part of the whole country as the future of yeah. destination, future destinations to the world. Uh, both projects are uh, being developed as a sustainable project, a regenerative project that wanted to introduce new standards to the world. We, we don't want to copy, paste some other uh, yeah. destinations in the world. We need to to give the people what they deserve to experience in the future. I'd like to find out a bit more about the project, but first, here at the Arabian Travel Market, how is it for you to meet people again? Uh, for me personally, it went beyond expectations. I was expecting less people. However, I think people are hungry to touch together again, to be reconnected again, and to see what is the future of the tourism after the pandemic. Cool. Okay, let's start with Amala. Tell us a bit about Amala. Amala is an uh, ultra-luxury destination that wanted to be uh, a, a sustainable destination. The focus of Amala will be more into culture, into art and wellness. Those are the pillars of uh, the destination, additional to the sustainability as well. We are looking for those people who wanted to get kind of peace of mind travel, to want to have this experience with the culture and art. So this is Amala and these are the target audience that we are targeting in Amala. So the Red Sea is known throughout the world because of its geography and the incredible water, especially for life and diving. So the project itself is, in terms of size, pretty, what should we say, gigantic. It's enormous, isn't it? It is indeed. The project size is 28,000 uh, 28, uh, square kilometer. So it's the size of a country in some, yeah. some countries. Uh, the development is going uh, very well so far. We are working on the infrastructure. We are working in the airport. We are working in the bridge between the shoreline and the islands as well. Uh, by end of 2022, Definitely we will welcome uh, first guests and this is invitation to you, your team to visit the destination Excellent. by end of 2022. And when you say 2022, it sounds a long way away, but it isn't, it's only a it, year and a half. It is not for the scale of the project, definitely it is yeah. not. We are building a new city, we are not sure. building just a small destination or a tourist, uh, tourism destination, it's a new complete uh, uh, city. So by end, end of 2022, it's that close. Fabulous. Well, thank you very much indeed. Shukran. Thank you so much for hosting us. For, for joining us. Thank you very much. Thank you so much.